Welcome to this Pedagogy Premier Digital Tip video. Let's explore one of the features of Smart Notebook, the Infinite Cloner. To use this feature, we need to add an object onto our page. So I'm going to choose a shape. I'm going to go for a hexagon and I'm going to make it red. So I'm going to draw my shape on the page. Click onto the Select tool and then click on my object and I click on the drop down menu. You'll notice there is this option for infinite cloner. I'm going to click onto that. And now when I click onto my object, you'll notice the infinity sign in that top corner. And what I can do is I can click and drag and create clones of that object. Each of these objects I can use on their own now. I can change their color, I can resize them and I can delete them. Let's just remove all of those. And when I click back onto my object that's got the infinite cloner on, if I click on the infinity sign, I can toggle that off and then I can remove this object, change its color, resize it, do whatever I need to do to it. The infinite cloner works on any object and this applies to text as well. So let's click on the text tool. Let's add some text, click back onto select. And again, click on that drop down menu and you'll see the infinite cloner. And again, I can just make clones of whatever piece of text it is that I have typed there. We'll delete those and then I can turn off the infinite cloner. The infinite cloner also works on any pictures that are sitting in the smart notebook gallery. So if we go into the gallery and we'll search for something. So I'm going to go into pictures and I'm going to choose this apple, click on the drop down for the menu. And then I've got the option for infinite cloner. The infinite cloner is a great tool to make use of if you're making an activity on within smart notebook. And I've got some examples to show you. On this page here, I've created letter tiles and each of these letter tiles has the infinite cloner on, which means I can use multiple ones to make different words. And like I did before, I can just remove these when I don't need them any longer. Another way to use this, I have got a little activity here with making different amounts with money. I've got all my coins at the bottom and I've put the infinite cloner on them, which means I can drag them up and use them to make that amount. And I've made a little quick activity there for my class to complete on the smart board. Have a play with the infinite cloner and think about ways that you could use it in your teaching. Thank you for watching.